we do this every year. We always try and give you an episode of what it's actually like to live on a boat. And it's not all sunshine and flowers. And today we are in a windswept Britannic island um, on Belleville. So what's the plan for today? Well, we've woken up to a, um, not overcast, but it's, it's, there's a little bit of shade today. So the plan is um, just to go on a hill walk. Belleville, it is, it is so stunning and beautiful and I'm not a great proponent of walking. No, you don't, you don't love a hike. Do I don't you? like, I don't love a hike, but it's one of those things when I'm doing it, I'm pretty bloody miserable, but when I finish it, I'm like, oh, that was all right. Anyway, so we're going to go on a mini hike today. We're going to go and see, look at the views, hey? Eh? Yeah. Look at the views on Belleville. We've been here before, so we know that the views are lovely. We've got some sandwiches, a little picnic. We've got our camera gear, and that's why we came here. We came here to hike. A very refreshingly energetic of us. <laughs> How beautiful is this, right? So gorgeous. Even that cloud, I know that the sky is a bit cloudy at the moment, but it's a beautiful sky today as well. A tree. I'm just sitting here. I got to vanish lose Nick. <laughs> I know that Nick doesn't like hiking. But I actually really enjoy it. I really enjoy it, particularly when it's, you know, kind of a little bit on the challenging side, which this walk at times is, because you have to go up and down, like, to the um, cliff face, I guess. Particularly when you're rewarded with this kind of scenery. I mean, what is not to love? It's just absolutely spectacular. In the great outdoors Forever free And even though there's a bit of a cloud cover today, um, I actually think that kind of in its own way just adds to the atmosphere. At first I was like, oh, I don't really want to be walking in the sun because it's hot, but I kind of wanted that light, the nice golden light for our filming, but actually I'm really enjoying this kind of grey moody atmosphere. What do you guys think? Meant to be in the great outdoors. Everyone's gonna be able to hear you weeing. I'll just wait until you stop, shall I? <laughs> this morning we did go out for a walk along the coastal path, but then it started raining. So we turned around, came back to the boat, and we've been here all day um, sitting on the boat in the rain. And it's one of those days where it's not windy, there's no cloud, uh, sorry, there's no sun. And uh, so we've had like no, almost no power going into the batteries. But of course it's the perfect work day because we have nothing else to do when it is uh, gray and overcast and rainy. So we worked as best as we could with no electricity. You're very tired today. I think it's the weather. Yeah, if it's, it, if it's not sunny, 
I've got no energy. I'm like Wally. You are like Wally. Like, yes, but you didn't have any energy yesterday. Because the weather was coming. God. <laughs> <laughs> any other excuses? We're just out here enjoying our evening drink, finishing up our dinner. And then we heard some music and someone's playing what Nick informed me was an oboe. not very musical so I don't know but sailors are very colourful people and I just love that uh, you know you're just sitting here rafted up on a mooring boy and then you just hear someone playing a musical instrument and it's just lovely it adds to the general convivial atmosphere <laughs> Well, that's, exactly, that's another instrument, that wasn't what he had before. What was it that he had before? He had a, he had a brass oboe before. He's now got a saxophone. He's now got a tenor saxophone. What's the other dude got? A French horn. <laughs> We are going to um, go to the little grocery store that's here and we just need to get um, some milk and <laughs> I think some yogurt for the morning. I might get some creme bars. They look nice. Bonjour. They don't have anything non dairy. Okay. And I'll get some yogurt if they have any. Okay. Mm -hmm. I decided to make banana cake. I haven't made banana cake in about four years. Point being is that about three, four days ago I bought some bananas. No, it goes back further than that. About a week ago I bought some eggs. And I'm not really sure why I bought the eggs, but anyway, I bought eggs and I bought some flour. And so then I bought some bananas and anyway, you can see where this is going. I decided to make banana bread like a week ago and I still haven't made it. So I need to make it otherwise like the eggs are going to go off and the bananas are just going to rot. So the time has come. Um, I'm not sure whether to follow like a recipe or not. I feel yeah, like a, a recipe, you're not your father. I think I'll use a recipe as inspiration. Okay, so these are my <laughs> bananas. They're two out of four of my bananas. I think these are gonna be pretty average on the inside. So let's open them up and see. Hello. Oh, no. They're okay. They're perfect for a cake. I wanna see if I can find a recipe with four bananas. I feel like it's too many bananas. Maybe I'll just use three. Easy banana cake recipe. Ah, perfect. Okay. And the sun's come out all of a sudden. See, this is why you should never trust the forecast. It's our evening routine on Ruby Rose, which it's, what time is it? Quarter past six, we have just had our evening beer at the bar. The boat next door is, um, I'm not sure it's just typically French or just typically sailors or typically French sailors. They seem to have like a brass ensemble on board. It's a tiny little boat and they've got like saxophones and those brass oboe things and someone's got a French horn. And the last couple of nights he just comes out and plays jazz. So if you can hear jazz in the background, that's what it is. Anyway, um, we've got some heavy weather coming in. We are moored for an aft. And so what we're gonna do is cook dinner, get the screens on so that we've got a cockpit we can use tomorrow. 
and hopefully I think the wind's gonna be about 25 knots so the wind generator should power the boat completely once the once the wind gets over 20 knots we are pretty self-sufficient with that wind generator well, we're gonna have 35 knot gusts yeah it locks out after a while it, it kind of cuts out when it can't charge fast enough but I think 35 knot gusts it'll probably stop at 20 knots consistent we'll be powering the boat with wind so yeah it's just a pleasant evening in a, in a strange way I'm quite looking forward to to a day of just dossing about yeah, on the boat so what we're going to do is we're going to put the keel fully down um, we won't dry out here that will stabilize the boat a little bit we put a double line on the stern because the wind is coming from the stern we'll put the cockpit tent on and uh, yeah that's going to be our, uh, our, our, our evening the winds going to pick up about two in the morning and tomorrow we're going to just cook on board and work and hopefully as I said the wind will keep us charged that's it. So by eight o'clock tomorrow morning, it's gonna be gusting 35 knots. And I don't know about you, but I definitely do not want anyone There's rafting. This boat's coming in, mate. This boat's coming in still. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely don't want people rafting up next to us when it's gonna be gusting 35. Well, there's a point every single fender out between us if they do. At the moment there are no, well this boat's just rafted up but up until then um, there weren't any other boats in here rafted. We've all just been like slung between the mooring boys but now they've rafted up so they've set a precedent which I'm not particularly happy about. And well, um, hang on. what I would say is if it was us trying to come in after a difficult sail we'd be pretty thankful of a, of a safe, safe port. So. We've been on this foot before, babe, where we've just got into a port and we're like, just anywhere. Listen to me, there are boys outside and there are boys inside. Oh, boys everywhere. Boys, boys, boys. It reminds me a little bit of um, like when you're on a plane and like everyone's sitting down and you just keep on hoping that the seat next to you is gonna remain free because you don't want someone sat next to you for a long plane journey. Battery's only charged at 84%, which I don't feel like is very high. So I got up this morning and uh, while there's definitely a breeze out there, I definitely don't think it's 35 knots. No, it's not. I don't right. think it's even uh, 20 knots. Well, we're pretty secure down here. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got a big lump of granite in the form of this island that's protecting us. Mm. And are we at low water as well? Uh, no, we're at high water. Okay. So there's a there's a lot of, you know, we've got the, the whole island. Um, we're in a nice little like river and there's it's yeah. quite high-sided so yeah. we are protected well that's a good thing obviously it doesn't do us any good in terms of uh, power generation so that's the only issue i know but i was hoping to work today i'm not gonna be out i can't sit on the computer all day with the engine running can i well no no i don't have all the answers i know See, I've got that on, on, on film now. <laughs> My plan for sitting and working this morning while it was very windy outside, I don't think it's going to eventuate. However, I want to check the weather. Wind is meant to pass through pretty much by like lunchtime. That rain band is pretty much just passed. I must admit that the rest of the week is not looking particularly cheery. Well, because there's a low pressure system sat over the UK. With uh, no sun and not much wind, we can't really stay at anchor for many more days, to be honest. So the question is, <laughs> the question is, are you awake enough? To yes, I'm more than awake. I've had a coffee and something which was half yogurt, half soft cheese. 
Why are we suddenly, after five years of living on board and happily meeting our energy requirements, mm -hmm. why are we suddenly unable to do that? Well, I mean, the far, last five years have seen us in geographically pretty distinct locations. The Caribbean is almost guaranteed sun and wind all day long. So, you know, when we were in the, in the Windward Islands, um, you know, 20 to 25 knots all day long, wind generator pumping out the electricity and you were guaranteed six hours of sun a day. Um, even, you know, when it was cloudy, you know, you, you get lots of spells of sunshine. So that would happily power the boat. Um, and actually we can probably recall quite, quite effectively the times where we didn't have any power, that time in Guadeloupe where we sat under a mountain with no wind and, and no sun for three days until we cracked the ships and left and got hammered on the way to Antigua. And literally we are now, we're in a very protected spot. We took the boat into a protected spot because we knew the wind was gonna come from the west, due west, so we went into a pretty protected anchorage, which is down low. So we got no wind and we got no sun. So we, ca we are actually charging the batteries. So we have a, a net draw between three and four amps normally. And that's mostly the fridge compressor. So, you know, if we sit in reading books all day and charging iPhones, we, we can happily get on with our day and the batteries will just, you know, charge themselves up very, very slowly. The issue that we have is that we need to work and we need to, we need um, uh, AC power. And that needs an inverter on. And so that adds another, you know, while you're charging up a, uh, a laptop which runs I think the Apple laptops run at 86 the, the chargers run at 86 watts you've got two of those going that adds another 10 to 15 amps of, of power draw so we we negative along, along with like including the inverter yeah it depends how, how how you're charging it but you know so we need sun we need we need sun and all winds to kind of like balance that out now and, and we need a lot of wind <clears> that's the problem isn't it yeah, it's not so much the lot of wind, it's just the sun. We get more from the sun um, than we do from the wind generator. The thing is for the wind generator to be, you know, pumping out 10 to 15 amps, you need 20 knots of wind. So from our point of view, um, where, where you have a windless, windless and sunless days, we have to run on, you know, running the engine. Which is one of the only times that, you know, you think, oh, wouldn't a gen set be nice? But honestly, the load that we put on, on, the, on the alternator, we can just run the engine for an hour. The, the other thing is that we, we only have three solar panels. We only have 300 watts of solar panels. Yeah, we got 300 watts of solar one of them One of them died, so. So we used to have 400 watts. Yeah. How many knots of wind do we need to generate enough electricity from the wind generator? power the batteries to a so it's an air breeze so it runs parabolically so the more the windier it is the kind of like you get a parabolic increase in in power output at about 18 knots it's producing i think between 10 and 20 amps so what well that's a big range yeah it's well it, it depends it, I, I never quite worked it out <laughs> but you know because it shoots up so bloody quickly so what so below 15 to 18 knots. Yeah, it's just, it's like trickle charging. Right, so I think that's what we're getting at the moment, really. It yeah. doesn't look like it's reaching 20 knots. The thing about that generator is that it doesn't, it works well, but not in gusts. Oh. So you need, it, well, it's a basically at the moment, the gusts are probably 18 knots, mm. right? So you can hear it winding up, Yeah. but you need kind of that real consistent, like 18, 18 plus knots of wind to, you know, without like it fluking around too much mm. to give you that kind of constant power generation. Right. We don't have it. Mm. But, you know, as I said, I'll go and clean the solar panels of, of water, make sure the boom's out the way for this morning. And, you know, you'll get a few more amps out of it. And the other thing is the batteries are at 85%. So, you know, we can take those down to 60 easily. And we've got 400 amp, amp, amp hours of, of power. I, I, and we need to motor out here tomorrow anyway. So that'll put energy back that will put you know charge back into the batteries anyway um so i think that you know so if we had lithium batteries would we be able to take the charge much lower down <clears throat> you take the 20 percent yeah yeah so that would be the so to us right now that would be the main advantage to lithium batteries. yeah if we had lithiums you can take them down to 20. Mm. so yeah we'd have you'd have more usable capacity in that battery mm. um, but you know as Does i said any difference our batteries aren't very 
that they're quite old. And no, the batteries work fine. No, and that's the thing. The thing about um, lead acid batteries is if you maintain them well and de degas them, and you know they actually last better than sealed batteries to my mind because you you're able to like maintain them yourself. So we're getting four amps into the solar at the moment. And four amps from the wind generator. So we're putting in positive three at the moment. Oh, are we? Yeah. Oh, well, it was negative three when I woke up. Because these, when you get a little bit of sun like this, a little bit of light, it does really make a difference. Right. So I fitted that. So that's solar, uh -huh. that's hydro, and that's wind. Well, there's not much going in with because the wind. It's, because it's, there's no gust. If you see when the gust oh, come, yeah. it goes up. Is what I'm saying that when you've got 20 knots sustained, mm. you're getting over 10 amps, but at low, like you'll see it suddenly. If you get a gust, you'll suddenly see that go zipping up. Mm. Whereas this is kind of far more consistent. Consistent, absolutely. Yes. What's the plan for today? Because I kind of thought it was going to be like an onboard day, and now the sun's kind of coming out, but it's going away again this afternoon. So I'm kind of feeling like we should go out. Well, that's a, that's a very very logical conclusion. <laughs> and I concur wholeheartedly. thank you to our wonderful patrons for making these videos possible if you would also like to become a patron then please click the link in the description below our patrons get all sorts of amazing perks and benefits including early access to our videos access to facebook groups and whatsapp groups the first to know about any ruby rose 2 news and now we also offer ad-free content to all of our patrons click that link in the description below to find out more